Tyler Wallish, I'm 26, and I'm from Mammoth Lakes, California. And I'm Brant Krausen, I'm 28, and I'm from Steamboat Springs, Colorado. I was first, I'll claim that one, but uh, Tyler was very close behind me. We started, geez, I'm right around a decade, and Tyler's right there behind me. It's been great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Brant's one of my longest, long-time friends. Yeah, a lot of funny times in the road, a lot of good times, a lot of weird places we've been to, and good memories yeah. all around the world, and it's been, uh, it's been a pretty cool experience, I think, for both of us. I think ski cross is just really exciting. There's a lot more happening than traditional alpine skiing. I just had my 10-year uh, anniversary two days ago for my first ski cross event, and um, I decided I wanted to try ski cross, and I couldn't, I took too many training runs. I was having so much fun and couldn't, couldn't get off the track and just been hooked ever since and the ski cross itself is 10 notches up more fun <laughs> yeah. and it's it's good we have a unique kind of partnership so there's like a whole slew of things that just happen behind the scenes like and we, we joke around a lot with the Austrian guys um, we're always together there's always like inside jokes and the whole the whole deal going on but uh, yeah it's, it's a very unique situation and but it, it works pretty good I think yeah I mean, I, I make fun of Brant a lot for his uh, lack of hair. Oh, uh, yeah. Because yeah. I've, I've used to have, uh, and still have kind of longer locks. Not at the moment, but I've had pretty long hair in oh, the past. Well, when you started, like, you were like, my totally, hair. it was down, like, almost your ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so that's, that's an easy target for me. Well, and then when Tyler, he was doing a little mustache thing for a while, and he was, he dyed it for, like, two years. And then, oh, <laughs> just, that's time that, you look at the photos and you're just like, ah, okay, it happened. Like, no, it's all good. <laughs> it's the little things like that. You kind of just like punch at each other here and there and, and you have a good time on the road. And, and uh, yeah, it's a fun experience. Uh, you know, Brant, you really need to, you just do it, man. Just <laughs> get out there and do it. I don't, I don't know, That's. I guess that's the best I can do. What am I like, huh? What am I like? Um, Tyler, have you seen my transponder in there? Um, I can't find my glove either, and I think you saw, you had it last, and I, my goggles are fogged up, and have you seen my bib, and I, uh, I think I messed up the wax. Um, I don't know, man, the wax, I missed it. It's minus three, and I waxed for minus two. I don't know what to do, man. What do you think? I think it's gonna be fine. <laughs> it's always fine. The whole show. Jim, I should assist you. You welcome. You know, you you <laughs> All right, that's you. Not far. That is perfect, huh? Some white walkers out there. <laughs> Winter is coming. <laughs> I mean, I'd say some of the funniest memories are the ones we don't fully remember. Yeah, there's some of those longer <laughs> nights um, in a new town. My first World Cup in Europe was in Val Terence, and it's known as a pretty, uh, pretty good party town. And we, it was, I think, both of our first times there. And yeah. we were just like awestruck by the crowd of people and the public and the, all the bars and parties going on. And Brandt definitely made a fool of himself that uh, night. And I had a great time witnessing it, and it's one of my. <laughs> It's one of my favorite uh, memories for sure. I, mean, I don't think we can go into too many details. No, but I, I don't uh, think those details are allowed on the on the camera. Yeah, but, but it was pretty funny. That was, yeah, nine years ago now, and I still remember it vividly. When we started, ski cross was such a different sport than it is now. So much we've progressed as a sport so much since those beginning days, and it's great to look back on the memories and and everything we did. But I'm pretty happy that like it is the way it is now. A little less wild times, a little more focus, but I mean, hey, we had a good time back then. It would be really cool for me and Tyler together to uh, achieve a podium performance or like have a team race where we do really well or something like that. Last year when we were in Russia, we went through two heats together and like the first heat, we were on the track just like 
yelling at each other while I was yelling at Tyler. Yeah. Tyler's focusing. <laughs> but I was yelling at Tyler the whole time, like, hey, let's, like, we need to do this, like, on your right, on your left. That kind of stuff is really, really cool to me. And for us, because we're, yeah. we're the only two at most of our World Cups, this year we had a couple more yeah. at the start of the season. And as, as both being privateers in the sport and not having national team support, we definitely have to have each other's backs. And it was, it was a really cool experience to go through that heat together. And um, in the summer, I was going back and watching that heat over and over again and just smiling, having a good time, and uh -huh. used a lot of it as motivation for, the, uh, for the coming into this year. When ski cross got added in 2010, that was the last year that the US ski team supported ski cross, and it kind of went the opposite direction. And I know for myself, I got into ski cross because I saw it on TV, and I was like, "Why am I not doing it? This looks like amazing to me." We have like an old movie, Field of Dreams, to say, "If you build it, they will come." Like. Basically, if we, if we get more ski cross tracks and more programs and more things, we'll have more involvement in the sport, and you know, then then it's just a, a flowing thing. Just there was a track, did a couple races, and like, hey, this is my new love.